Hi, fourth graders. Welcome to your Making Meaning lesson for today. My name is Ms. Tom Michaud. Um, my students usually call me Ms. T. And I am a teacher at Hazel Wolf K-8. Um, and this is my classroom for right now. Um, it's actually a part of my daughter's playroom slash the guest room slash office slash my classroom now. Um, so you're probably in a space kind of like that also um, that you're just using for your learning and you're working right now. And it's all kind of weird, but we're just making the best of it and doing what we can. So thank you for being here with me today. I'm excited to do some thinking and some working about um, Amelia Earhart. Just a couple more things. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you already know this, but if you're just tuning in, I wanna let you know that there will be times in the video that I'll ask you to turn to your partner or turn and say your thoughts. And um, when I do that, I know that you might not have somebody that you can turn to and talk to, um, and that's okay. Uh, you can talk to a family member, you can talk to a pet, you can talk to a stuffy, you can just turn to the wall and talk to the wall doesn't have to be a real person. Um, it's just a really important step to say what you're thinking. It can help your brain process things more. And often it leads you to new ideas that you wouldn't have thought of if you just kept the ideas inside your head. So it's an important way to, to do this processing. Um, so I do hope that you will turn and say your thoughts out loud. All right, I think that's it. Let's get started. So um, we have been reading and thinking about a woman who was very important in American history, a woman named Amelia Earhart. Um, we've been reading the book, A Picture Book of Amelia Earhart by David A. Adler and illustrated by Jeff Fisher, published by Holiday House. Um, she was important for many reasons. And what I would like you to do before we start our work for today is just take a moment to think and then turn to a partner and say what you remember a bit about Amelia Earhart. What do you remember about Amelia Earhart? Think in your head. And then turn to your partner. Okay, so hopefully you remembered a few things. Maybe you remembered that Amelia Earhart um, liked a lot of things that, it, that typically boys were thought to like back in this period of American history. Um, maybe you remember that she was the first woman to fly alone across the Atlantic Ocean, um, that she was one of the first female pilots in United States history. Um, maybe you remembered some other things. Uh, what we're going to do today, what we're gonna work really hard on is identify some themes in this book. Um, in other words, we're going to think about things that we might learn from Amelia's story that we might be able to apply to our own lives. So themes are like these really big ideas, like these lessons or these meanings that we can take from stories um, that help us learn about who we are and how the world works. So what I'm going to do is flip through the pages and just have you stop and think every once in a while about what might be a theme in this book. Um, and then we'll jot some ideas down. And then when we're finished with that, then we're going to do some writing about this reading. And I'll guide you through that also. All right. So let's go ahead and flip through the pages. I remember that on this page, Amelia's born. She gets a sister on this page. Um, it talks about how she did a lot of sports. She had her own rifle. Um, she would wear bloomers and her behavior was shocking to some people, um, but Amelia kind of didn't really care. She thought that was just fine. Um, so let's step and think for a moment here what might be a theme in this book or something that um, we can learn from Amelia's story that we might be able to apply to our own lives. If you're thinking in your head, now go ahead and turn to your partner.
So I was thinking that maybe a theme on this page could be, don't worry what other people think about you. Um, so I'm gonna jot that down. Okay, so for some possible themes in this book, I wrote down, don't worry about what other people think about you. And the reason I think this is because it talks about how um, Amelia didn't really care that piece of, some people were shocked by her behavior and by the things that she wore. It was just a part of who she was. Okay, on these pages, we learn about how she sees an airplane for the first time. She doesn't, she's not, doesn't really care about it very much. Um, and then she goes to high school and she talks about how she's known for being pretty smart. Then um, she becomes a nurse and she really starts to see that things are serious. She goes, she quits school and becomes a nurse's aide to care for the war wounded. Um, while she's doing that, she has another look at airplanes and she starts to really fall in love with airplanes. And then she goes to school and she studies automobile engine repair. And then she studies medicine and medical research. Um, on this page, she sees a, a flying air show and she pays for flying lessons and flies her first airplane. It wasn't very safe. She crashed a whole bunch of times and hung upside down, but she decided she really wanted to fly. Um, and then she, her parents get divorced. She's a social worker. She decides not to get married. And even though she's doing all this work as a social worker and teaching English, she still flies for sport and she becomes a saleswoman for an airplane builder. And then on this page, she is the first woman to make the flight across the Atlantic with Bill Stoltz and Slim Gordon. So I'm going to stop for a moment here and just have you think again and then turn and talk. What is a possible theme that you've heard so far? What is something we can learn from Amelia's story that we can also apply to our own lives? Oops, go ahead and turn to your partner. So um, a theme that I was thinking about is that she keeps like loving flying um, and it's hard. She crashes and she has to kind of do it on the side, but she never gives up. She keeps working to be a pilot and to fly because she knows that's what she loves. So I'm going to write down under possible themes, never give up on your dream. So I just went and added that to my chart, never give up. All right, let's keep reminding ourselves of all the great stuff in this story. So she is celebrated when she returns. She becomes a heroine. She starts writing and giving lectures um, and making speeches. And she gets married to her publisher. And then after she gets married, she decides, you know what? I want to fly across the Atlantic Ocean alone. I don't want to do it with other people this time. I want to do it by myself even though it's dangerous. So she takes off and she does it. And she feels very proud of herself. She is the first woman and just the second person after Charles Lindbergh to fly alone across the Atlantic Ocean. She receives an award. Um, and then she decides that, well, she makes a few other flights alone. And then she decides that she's going to fly across the world. And um, she's not going to be afraid, even though that she knows that it's dangerous, she's going to do it. And sadly, she doesn't make it. But before she was lost, she writes to her husband, I am quite aware of the hazards and I want to do it. Women must try to do things as men have tried. When they fail, their failures must be but a challenge to others. Okay, so that was the end of the book. Just pause one more time and think to yourself and then turn and tell your partner, what is another theme that you heard, another lesson that we can learn from Amelia's story that we could apply to our own lives? So I was thinking for this one, we hear a lot about how Amelia is just not afraid. She does these things and 
She's like, yeah, there's stuff to be afraid of, but that's not going to stop me. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to do it anyways. So I'm going to write down um, that one theme is don't be afraid to do something you believe. Okay, so I've got my list now of possible themes um, in the picture book of Amelia Earhart. Don't worry about what other people think about you. Never give up. And don't be afraid to do something you believe in. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this up on the wall behind me. Hope, hopefully you'll be able to see it. And then let's do some writing. So um, I'm going to put this up. Put it right there. And then I'm going to switch out of the book and go to Microsoft Word document. And I'm just going to title it Writing About reading themes in picture book Oops. of Amelia Earhart. You might be writing this by hand on paper or you might be typing it into a computer. Either way is totally fine. It's easier for me to show you how I would do this writing when I'm typing on a computer. So that's how I'm going to do it, but if you are doing it differently, that's okay. You'll notice that there will be some sentences that I start writing in bold letters, and that means that those could be good sentence starters for you. You could just go ahead and copy those bolded words into your own writing um, and then finish the sentence with your own ideas. Okay, so I'm going to start by um, just writing the title and the author. Um, so I'm going to write, I read a picture book. by David A. Adler. Okay, and that's a sentence that you could pretty much just copy. We read the same book together. Um, then I'm just gonna write one sentence about the book to give the reader an idea of what this book was about. So I can write, this book was about, and then that's where you'd start putting your own ideas in. I'm gonna write, this book was about a woman. I'm gonna write an important, woman named Amelia Earhart, who was the first woman to fly alone across the Atlantic. Okay, so just one sentence telling the big important thing that the book is about. Okay, then I'm going to start talking about a theme. So I'm going to choose from this list of themes that I came up with. I'm going to choose one that I have a lot to say about and that I know I can support with details from the text. You may choose one of these as well, or you may have a different theme that you came up with also. As long as you can explain your thinking and support your theme with ideas from the text, um, then go for it. Okay, so I'm going to bold this sentence so you can start with this sentence starter. A theme in this book is, hmm, I think I'm going to write about the theme, don't be afraid to do something you believe in. So a theme in this book is don't be afraid to do something that you believe in. Okay, now I'm going to use that sentence starter that we've been using for our discussions recently. The reason I think this is, and I'm going to go and find some details from the book that support that idea. I mean, one is um, that... Let's see. Okay, well, so this one, this page um, says flying wasn't as safe then as it is today. Airplanes were powered by small engines. Amelia had several crash landings. Once she was thrown into an open field. Another time her airplane turned over in heavy rain and Amelia held in by her safety belt hung upside down. So in my writing, I'm going to say the reason I think this is the book tells me that when Amelia is first learning to fly, it wasn't very safe. She was even thrown from her plane, but she didn't. Now, a strong argument will have at least two details to support 
taking. So I'm going to go back to the book again and find another reason that I think a theme in this book is don't be afraid to do something in the book. That one I have in my head already. It's when she decided that she was going to fly across the world. Um, and here she says, when she was told the flight was dangerous, Amelia said, I've wanted to do this flight for a long time. If I should pop off, it will be doing the thing I've always wanted to do. So what that means to me is that even though she was told the flight was dangerous and even though she knew she might die, she didn't care because she wanted to do the thing that she loved. So in my writing, I'm going to say, whoops. Another reason I think this is that when she decides to fly around the world, people tell her it's dangerous, but she doesn't care. She says that even if she dies, it'll be doing the thing that she loves. Okay. Um, then I'm going to write one more bonus sentence. I'm going to connect this theme to my own life and talk a little bit about how I might use this lesson for me. So um, I'm going to write, I can connect this theme to my own life because, hmm, so I'm actually a really shy person. I get really scared talking in front of a lot of people, um, but I push myself to do it anyways. Like I teach classes to adults sometimes, or I'll make speeches sometimes, or I'm doing this video sometimes, um, because I love teaching and I love sharing my ideas and talking with other people about their ideas. And I think it's an important thing to do. So even though I'm scared, I love what I do, so I do it anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna make that a shorter sentence here. I can connect this theme to my own life because I am shy and I don't like talking in front of large groups of people, but it's part of teaching and I love teaching. So I push myself to do it anyways. Okay. So we talked about the book a little bit and what it's about. We identified a theme and we supported that theme with details from the text and reasons from the text that we thought that was a theme. And then we connected it to our own lives. Um, so go ahead and you can just pause this here if you want so that you have those sentence starters. Go ahead and do this writing on your own and um, Really push yourselves to think of a theme that speaks to you. Maybe it's the same theme that I wrote about, but maybe it's a different one. And find some examples that really support the theme that you came up with. Um, and even though you have my examples here, you're going to um, grow your own, grow your brains by finding your own examples to support your thinking. Okay, thanks so much. Um, go do some great writing. Thanks for sharing this thinking with me.